In an eerily unusual incident in Ecuador, a 76-year-old woman who was declared dead at a hospital astonished her relatives by knocking on her coffin during her wake. This has prompted a government investigation into the hospital where she was declared dead. Retired nurse Bella Montoya was admitted to hospital on Friday after suffering a possible stroke and cardiopulmonary arrest. When she did not respond to resuscitation, a doctor on duty declared her dead. Her son said that his mother was unconscious when she was brought to the emergency room and that a few hours later, a doctor informed him that she was dead and even handed over identity documents and a death certificate. The family then brought her to a funeral home and were holding a wake when they started to hear strange sounds. A wake or a viewing is usually a chance to show support and condolences to the family as well as to pay respects. When, after almost five hours, they opened the coffin to change her clothes ahead of the funeral, the woman suddenly gasped for air. Her son claimed that she was hitting the box with her left hand after the five-hour wake. Though he and other relatives rushed her back to the hospital, she was still in serious condition. She was under intubation and doctors were not giving relatives much hope about her prognosis. A video posted on Twitter showed the elderly woman in her open coffin breathing heavily while two men assist her. The video of the incident has gone viral on social media. Ecuador's health ministry said that Montoya was in intensive care at the Martin Icaza Hospital in Babahoyo as the ministry investigates doctors involved in her case. She is being treated at the same hospital where she was declared dead two days earlier. A technical committee has been formed by the ministry to review how the hospital issues death certificates. Bella Montoya is not the only person to come alive after being officially declared dead. In February, an 82-year-old woman was found to be breathing while lying in a funeral home in New York. She was pronounced dead three hours earlier at a nursing home.